Who in the world is John Tyler? Well, John Tyler was the 10th president of the United States from 1841 to 1845. He was a member of the Whig Party and the first president to assume office after the death of a predecessor. Tyler was born in Charles City County, Virginia in 1790 and grew up in a wealthy family. But he attended the College of William and Mary before entering politics in 1811. Tyler served in the Virginia House of Delegates from 1811 to 1816 and was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1816. He served in the House for two terms before being elected to the U.S. Senate in 1827. In the Senate, he was a strong advocate for states' rights and was against the policies of President Andrew Jackson. In 1836, Tyler was elected as Vice President of the United States under William Henry Harrison. When Harrison died in 1841, Tyler assumed the presidency. During his term, Tyler clashed with Congress over the power of the presidency and failed to pass any major legislation. He was expelled from the Whig Party and ran for re-election as an independent in 1844, but lost. After leaving office, Tyler returned to Virginia and continued to be a vocal advocate for states' rights and the Confederate cause during the Civil War. He died in 1862 at the age of 71. Tyler's legacy is one of controversy. While he was a strong defender of states' rights, his actions as president were often criticized. He is remembered as a man of principle who was willing to stand up for his beliefs, even if it meant going against his party and Congress.